This is really remarkable, Kate, and it really speaks to the desperation and the anger that so many people in Israel feel uh, when it comes to the hostages who are still being held in Gaza and the efforts or, or lack thereof, they say, uh, by the government to, to free them. So this tape that was obtained by uh, Israeli news outlet Ynet is, uh, is the audio recording of a meeting between uh, hostages themselves and their families uh, with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Uh, they accuse him of playing politics, of prior prioritizing politics over freeing the hostages. They say that the intelligence services in Israel didn't have a good sense of where the hostages were being held. And they say that Israel's military campaign even endangered and wounded some of the hostages. I want to play a clip of one of the women in this meeting. She herself was a hostage with her children. They were freed, but her husband is still inside. She says that no one was doing anything for them, she says, and that Israeli shelling actually wounded them. Take a listen. You will return them all. They will not wait 50 days. They will not wait another year because you claim that they are strong enough. You have no information. You have no information. The fact that we were shelled, the fact that no one knew anything about where we were. So that former hostage demanding of Netanyahu that he get the rest of the hostages out now at one point, Kate, according to this recording, uh, people started shouting shame at Netanyahu. Netanyahu defended the military action, saying it was actually the military operations, the military pressure that led to the initial release of hostages. And he went on to say that more military pressure will actually help get the rest of the hostages out. Uh, Kate, the fact remains that just under 140 hostages, 138 to be exact, remain in the Gaza Strip. And there is a lot of anger directed at the Netanyahu government. They believe for, that, that the Netanyahu government is not doing enough to get them home. Kate.